Hello my Cakewalk by Band Lab friends. In this video, I want to quickly demonstrate the importance of creating a project template and where to save it. As you can see, this project template is quite extensive. I have 52 tracks and I'm using several virtual instruments which include East West Collection, in this instance, I'm using the Symphonic Orchestra. And I'm also using Contact. I particularly like the Chris Hines Pro Complete Library. And so I have several instances. The whole idea about creating a template is to save you time in production workflow. This particular template I spent about two and a half hours on setting up the tracks picking out the patches that I wanted to start with. And I even included the transpositions for the instruments. You can create effects. You can go ahead and add those to your effects bin if you wish to. Everything you want to set up. Imagine if you had to recreate this whole template multiple times, let's say 30 times. The real value of it is so that your template is consistent throughout your project. Now, templates apply to any doll, but I'm using Cakewalk by Band Lab for this demonstration, and I want to show you the file chain. So you go to Save As, and then you're going to want to choose template. And then you'll type in your name. But from here, don't just hit save. You want to go to this PC, local disk C, Cakewalk content, Cakewalk core, and scroll down to project templates. As you can see, I already have mine saved, and so I'll just simply override it. Now, the benefit of this, as I told you, it took about two and a half hours to set up all my virtual instruments, tracks, patch assignments, uh, transpositions for all the instruments. I think there were 28 or 30 separate pieces counting the incidental and underscores. Since we've saved it in the content core, folder. Now we can go to File, New, and there it is. Just click on that and it will open up your project and you are ready to rock and roll. If this helped you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment in the comment section if there's something you would like me to show you or help you with. Thanks for watching.